All right. So anyway, we're cutting some steel, and the 2417 steel uh, blade for the jig seems to work the best. I've tried the 36s. I've tried tried, tried diamond. Uh, I've tried them all, and the 2417. Yeah. What I'm doing here is uh, I'm working on the box outside and trying to weld up the front. And what I'm using is a lot of pieces of scrap metal. Uh, 12 gauge, 14, uh, whatever I have laying around. Unfortunately, I still have a spot that's about 7 inches by 3 inches. Ah. <sighs> And I can't seem to find anything that I can use. Oh, wait a minute. Let me go look out in the garage or the um, the truck body, if so called. I may have something out there. Uh -huh. I mean, I don't mind. That it looks like you know a patch job. It doesn't bother me there once it does the job. You know, and I'm gradually getting there with it. So. That doesn't bother me too much. Let's uh, let's put some black uh, paint on it or something, and uh, not have to worry about it. I'll put some of that uh, black manifold paint. All I need is a piece about seven or eight inches by three or four inches. Huh. Hmm, things that make you go, hmm, squirrel cage. I may even end up using this to uh, circulate some heat if I have to, and if it works, that is. Now, oh, wait a minute, what do I got down here? Uh, this is a little overkill, but you know what, I have it. Ah, jeez, that's a helpful piece, but you know what, we'll see what happens. Uh, one of the, uh, a friend of mine, uh, Tom, which is a commander with the Coast Guard, um, is that aluminum or is that metal? Uh, it's thin aluminum. I don't know if I can, oh wait, that's not aluminum. Oh, it is aluminum. That's perfect size. I just don't know if I can pack that in there or not. Um, a friend of mine, uh, knows a, uh, a pretty reasonable and reliable furnace guy, HVAC. So uh, he was on vacation for a while, but he had just called. I can always cut up an old paint pan, rolling pan. Anyway, um, and he was telling me what to do or try with my uh, gas furnace that I have. And he said, if it doesn't work, call him back and he will come out uh, this week to get me uh, fixed up so uh, I'm going to try that once I get done with this because I got too many too many things on the fire here and I I don't work that way uh, one or two sometimes three and I, I I see them through before I go nuts otherwise it just drives you crazy you know, and uh, I'm too old to be going crazy I want to relax. So, as I finish one, then I, uh, I'll start another one. But having a couple pans in the fire is fine. But more than that, forget about it. I am not going to drive myself nuts. Alright, I'm going to try. This is aluminum. Ugh. I'm going to try it though. That's it. I'm going to try it. Try, try because uh, well, let me see what I have over here hold on but like I say too many things going at once just drives you nuts and you have too much out of pocket uh, because you got too many things going and uh, money is uh, oh yeah I got some of this duct work here too now that I might be able to well that I know I can use so, hmm. Anyway, that reminds me. I gotta run some duct in the basement. I gotta run. Uh, I put a uh, heat duct on the 
back porch. The back porch is enclosed. It's got a slider door on it and everything. Uh, we use it as a, a laundry room, uh, but however, it never had any heat. So I ran, well, I cut the duct and everything out. Let's put it that way, the, you know, the registers. And I just got to run the tubing. Uh, what do I got under there? More aluminum. All right, you know what? I'm going to try this. I'm not going to go nuts. If this doesn't work, then I'll come back out here and, and look. So, but like I say, too many things in the fire is just uh, nothing but aggravation. You're going to drive yourself nuts. And I'm not going to do that. No way, Jose. So, well, let's go over here and see what we have. You'll see the piecemeal that I'm talking about. Now, I was going to just run down and pick up another piece of tin, you know, uh, metal. Another sheet, four by eight sheet, um, and then. The, but I want to try to get this done. And the other thing is, do I really care what the front of it looks like? No. Yeah. No, so using the scrap stuff is just fine for me. There's the hole I'm talking about. And that'll fit in there perfect if I can uh, just get a little tack on it. And aluminum and metal is two different, uh, two different things, though. But anyway. Uh, that's where I'm at. So, so we'll see what happens.